Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Vina. Today I'll be sharing with you my family's recipe for clay pot fried rice or gum tai gum. What I love about this recipe is that the last step entails crisping up the bottom layer of the rice in order to bring out the really earthy aroma and adding crispy texture to that rice that we all love. So for this recipe, you're going to need shiitake mushrooms, red onions, ginger, Chinese sausage, fish sauce, maggi seasoning, and black pepper. You will also need two cups of cooked jasmine rice and a clay pot. For the clay pot, you can easily find this at Asian grocery stores and I've also used the Korean stone pot uh, for this recipe as well. So the first thing that you're going to do is with a one inch piece of ginger, go ahead and um, peel the ginger and julienne it into very fine pieces. Um, you don't want to be biting into relatively large pieces of ginger because it doesn't taste very good if it's too big. Then with half of a red onion that's been peeled, go ahead and slice it very thinly as well. Now after washing your shiitake mushrooms really well, making sure to get rid of all of that dirt on there, um, take off the stems of the shiitake mushrooms. Those stems are very tough and they don't taste very good. So after um, doing that, go ahead and slice your shiitake mushrooms in thin slices. Next, you're going to need one link of Chinese sausage and I'm just cubing them here. Now on about medium to medium high heat, go ahead and add um, some olive oil to your pan. And the first thing that you're going to add is the red onions. Uh, your goal is to caramelize the red onions and to really extract all of that flavor. After the red onions have been slightly caramelized, go ahead and add in your sliced ginger and let that cook until you smell the aroma of the ginger. Now add your Chinese sausage and cook that until you see some of that fat from the Chinese sausage start to render. Now once your mixture looks like this, go ahead and turn off the heat and set it aside onto a plate. Next, you're going to start cooking your shiitake mushrooms. Just place it into a pan, add some more olive oil if needed, and in order to help it kind of sweat a little bit, you can add some dashes of maggi seasoning to not only add flavor, but to help it cook down a little bit faster. Now, after the shiitake mushrooms have cooked and browned nicely, go ahead and add in the mixture that you made before. Mix it well to make sure that everything is really well incorporated, then add in a few more dashes of maggi seasoning and black pepper. Then go ahead and add in your rice and break it up with the spatula pretty well just so that you don't have big chunks of rice. Then what you're going to do is add in some dashes of maggi seasoning again in order to create an even layer of maggi seasoning over your rice and mix that really well. Next, add in the onion, shiitake mushrooms, ginger, and Chinese sausage into the rice and mix that really well to incorporate all that together. Add a few dashes more of Maggi seasoning if you notice that your rice is still a little bit white, just to add some more color. And the last thing that you're going to do is add in some uh, fish sauce. I'm adding about two tablespoons of fish sauce for all of this rice. Now after all the ingredients and the seasonings have been well incorporated, go ahead and prepare your clay pot. On medium heat, you're going to add a little bit of oil to your clay pot. Let that heat up, then you're going to add in your rice. After you've added all of the rice to the clay pot, go ahead and close the lid of the clay pot. What this does is that it helps the rice crisp up a little bit faster and it traps in all of that good flavor. Now everyone's stove and clay pot is different, so be sure to keep an eye on your rice to make sure that it doesn't burn. Now once you've seen that crispy layer of rice at the bottom of the pot, go ahead and take it off the heat and serve and enjoy. It's seriously so satisfying to hear that rice crisping up at the bottom.